bit if you're over the age of 25 i just don't get it i think maybe that maybe if you're over the age of 25 and you're a dude or a girl and you're single it might be a good time to kind of get dressed up because you know that's when all the freaks come out or the freaky side of us comes out there's probably some sort of um anthropological historical um ancestral explanation for why people get a bit more frisky when they put on a bit of makeup um and pretend to be other people right um maybe it goes back to those kind of eyes wide shut parties you know when they you know um that people put on this little face mask and do these little weird rituals and have these weird orgies and places like that so maybe it's something to do with that but i don't know why it is but i i don't think i've ever been to a halloween party where i haven't seen people getting off of each other everywhere right it's just a standard practice in it so maybe that's why people still go but i don't know about you guys but I can't even bother to go to events that I book, right? I I booked tickets to go see a Jordan Peterson uh, film the other day on Wednesday, actually. And it seemed like, you know, I think it's called The Life of Jordan Peterson or something. Like that. So it's a, new, it's a new documentary that's come out. That expect, it, it basically gives a fair and balanced point of view of, you know, Jordan Peterson's rise and some of these hardships he's kind of gone through the last few years. And it's a real cool film to go watch, right? I would have gone to Common Garden to go watch it. I would have been around people that... I don't know, um, I would have been in a company of people who share similar interests as mine, I would have been able to network, I would have been able just to kind of meet you know, like-minded people, it would have been a great evening, I didn't go because I just couldn't be bothered, right, I went training in the morning, I, I, had, I had to do a bit of reading, I went to record a little mix I, I went to put together, I just didn't want to leave my house, so imagine not going to a Jordan Peterson film event, right, that's going to be very it's very um, beneficial to my life in some way, shape, or form. It's definitely going to be worth the ticket that I paid for it. Imagine going to that. Imagine me not going to that because I just can't be bothered. And then imagine me having the the requisite uh, desire or the ability to sit there, stay at my house, get out face. And I'm, I'm actually one of the lucky people. I'm actually one of the only people in the world that happens to have face paint just lying around my house. And that's because I, I worked in my... Hold on. Yeah, a couple, a few jobs away. A few jobs ago, maybe like, let's say five jobs ago, I used to work for this really big art materials manufacturer and they were producing uh, like when I was there it happened to coincide when it was you know launching their new Halloween collection and it happened to like nick a few uh, nick a few cases of it and essentially just like you know face paint um, and also some stencils that you can use and some good brushes so usually it's quite you know you don't usually have that stuff lying around you have to go out and buy it but I guess like most people like Christmas decorations right you just reuse it every year so I'm actually quite fortunate I have face paint here I have a, a few materials I could probably use to make an outfit, but come on, man. A grown up like me going out, you know, and deciding to play fancy dress to go out and what and party in a pub and fancy dress. I always thought, in my opinion, anyway, Halloween especially, it only it's only fun for the first couple of hours, isn't it? Or maybe the first three hours, and after that, it just you just forget you even got your thing on, really. Unless you're one of those absolute wrongins that is always like look at me look at me look at someone i got on, right the whole night your whole identity is fucking defined by what you're wearing that gets a bit annoying but for the most part the whole halloween thing wears off very quickly right doesn't it i think so in my opinion wears off very very quickly but maybe it's just me um but yeah i'm not doing halloween this year that's not that's not an option um i just you know I'm, I'm too grown up for that shit i'm too grown up i don't care for like going out there and seeing girls scantily clad not interested I think when you're that, when you're probably as, maybe I have to be more of a horny dude to be out there, right? Just like fucking boner in hand, looking at girls in short skirts, you know, it's just awesome. But I just don't care enough for that. And I don't care enough to be surrounded by dudes that will have there. Because, for instance, the, the, the lowest common denominator for all dudes is going to be, you know, putting on a onesie, some sort of like onesie outfit that's just going to be a, a good cheat code. Or painting your face, right? And I'm not going to do either of those things. So, um, yeah, I think personally as the years have progressed i've probably come to the realization that maybe those holidays are more for the opposite gender as opposed to us guys i think girls probably have more fun at halloween than boys do because i think you know by and by and large girls probably get have probably more range in the kind of outfits they can put on right i've seen some fucking amazing makeup um images of of people who have been especially the makeup artists on youtube who went fucking crazy with some of the halloween makeups it looks just insane the level of work and, and and kind of ingenuity that goes into it is just nuts um but again putting in contacts dyeing your hair bleaching your eyebrows all this sort of shit like come on just count me the fuck out of it i'm not, I'm not involved I'm not involved i just don't care enough for these kind of things i mean like just find it a little bit basic to be like celebrating certain days like, oh it's, it's, it's halloween oh I don't know, just just a bit naff. If it was me and I really want to celebrate Halloween, I probably would have celebrated it last weekend. I think there was some Halloween. This is probably a weird Halloween, isn't it? Because it, it, it fell on the Thursday, 
Oh, no, actually, maybe last year was probably different. Imagine it falls on a Wednesday. So, effectively, you can't really party party on a Wednesday because you've got work the next day. And you can't really do it on the following weekend because it's gone, isn't it? Like, for the, it's, it's fucking the 2nd of November by that time, right? So, you kind of have to do it the week before, which is like, you know, six days before the fucking actual day of Halloween. It's fucking nuts that it happens, isn't it? Uh, but I think most people probably celebrate it the weekend before, isn't it? Just to make it a little bit easier. But yeah, big up you Halloween people. I don't know how you do it. I'm not involved. I have little but no desire to get involved in those kind of things. 